everybody, I'm Stephanie Balmont. Welcome to The Wave, your weekly did you know and what's on the go from around Atlantic Canada, brought to you by the East Coast Curator and propelled, as always, by coffee, delivered ever so deliciously by our good friends here at the Rhubarb Restaurant in Indian Harbor, Nova Scotia. Now you're saying, where's Indian Harbor? Well, you probably know their famous neighbors. Just a few minutes down that way, one of the most photographed spots in Canada, Peggy's Cove and just next door right there that gorgeous resort that's Ocean Stone Seaside Resort of course they've been great friends of CNBC over the years always our Nova Scotia property package when it comes to all of our birthday contests and it's a beautiful spot to stay right along the lighthouse route all year round with beautiful accommodations wonderful little cottages and of course they're next door to the rhubarb restaurant delicious meals from seafood to pasta to incredible pizza they've got a spectacular Sunday brunch and don't get me started on the baked goods. Saturday is donut day and the donuts are out of this world and Chef April's Grotto Crunch, well, you haven't lived till you've tried one of those. You can find all kinds of event details from Rhubarb Restaurant in a brand new feature we've posted on East Coast Curator, so check that out for sure. And while you're there, head to our art and design section. That's where you'll see Scarlet. That's right, Scarlet the Squirrel. She's just one of the many incredible creations by Nova Scotia artist Jody Eisner. Crooked Tail Folk Art is his company, and uh, Jody calls all of his creations goofy and fun. We just call them awesome. And you can see more of Jody's works on his Facebook page at Crooked Tail Folk Art, and you can pick up Scarlet and all of her friends at Going Coastal Fine Art and Furnishings in the Seaside Village of Chester, Nova Scotia. Time now to make our rounds around the region. First stop, Prince Edward Island for the freshest kind of news from the great folks at the Charlottetown Farmer's Market. We're ever so pleased to tell you that starting this Saturday, October the 31st, the market doors will reopen and the entire cooperative will be on hand. That's 58 vendors with eight food vendors too, serving up a wide variety of world cuisine, local favorites, and all kinds of organic farmers and cured meats and amazing breads. And of course, there'll be incredible crafters and artisans and artists. Now their online shop still remains open, but this is so amazing to tell you. The doors in fact will be open at the market itself from from 9 till 2 p.m. every Saturday. So it's a great spot to do all of your shopping. And I want to say that CNBC TV enjoyed a great round of Christmas shopping at the Charlottetown Farmer's Market. And you can see that episode in the CNBC TV video vault on the East Coast Curator. And for all the details on all the vendors that'll be there, you can check out charlottetownfarmersmarket.com. Time now to travel to New Brunswick where I've got some sensationally tasty news to tell you about. Our pals at Uptown St. John are always cooking up something wonderful, but I say their tastiest festival is Chop Chop, and oh baby, it's back. November 16th through the 22nd. Get together with some friends or treat yourself to a solo meal. Festival dishes are created at every spot and they've got special chop chop price points so you can enjoy it and know that a dollar from every selection will go to help Lunch Connection. That's a free hot lunch program that serves deserving children and youth of St. John. Plus, you'll be able to lift up local and support all those amazing St. John restaurants. Oh my goodness, that's win, win, win. Oh, I love it. And you're gonna love Chop Chop too. Next stop, Newfoundland and Labrador, where a wonderful little quiz awaits. So can you tell me what Rachel Cousins, Fortunate Ones, the Ennis Sisters, the Once, and Alan Doyle all have in common? They're all Newfoundlanders? Well, that's true, but that's not what we're looking for. They're all incredibly talented? Also a fact, but that's not it. They've got a new EP called Songs From Home. Aha, that's exactly right. There's a brand new EP on the way called Songs From Home, and it's available for pre-order now on Alan's site at alandoyle.ca. The EP is a special collaboration that they all created in isolation in the earliest days of the pandemic. Now, Alan posted this great teaser picture on his Instagram feed back in early October, and just this past week, he officially announced the project when he wrote on his site, Songs From Home is really all about making and keeping connections at a time when it's so difficult to be connected. And I can't wait to see you again from the stage, through a computer, a tablet, or a smart TV, however we have to do it. 
That's right. If you were unable to get tickets to Allen's sold out shows here on the mainland or in St. John's, don't despair because you can enjoy it all online with the first live screen show Friday, November the 13th, when a special guest will be Fortunate Ones and Rachel Cousins. And then online Saturday, November 14th, he'll be joined by the Once and the Anna sisters. Oh my goodness, that's going to be such a time. They'll be performing the live St. John's show at the Yellow Belly. That's at the corner of Water Street and George Street. So an intimate crowd there. And if you aren't lucky enough to have tickets to those shows, well, you can watch it online. All the details and certainly the tickets can be purchased at allendoyle.ca. And I will say, if you do buy tickets to the virtual shows, you get 20% off merch. So you can't beat it. Yes, bye. It's going to be a time. All right, we'll head back to the mainland now with some marvelous movie news from Nova Scotia. With an all East Coast cast and a stellar East Coast soundtrack filmed in the beautiful Annapolis Valley, after a mega award-winning film festival circuit, Tom Fitzgerald Splinters is making its way to theaters. And in Halifax, not a cinema per se, but rather it will screen at the gorgeous Neptune Theater. Splinters will run there through November the 8th. The box office is open for in-person screenings, and if you'd like to watch it in the comfort of your own home throughout Nova Scotia, go to neptuneathome.com. It's so awesome to have that incredible East Coast production screen in support of such a wonderful East Coast venue. You've got to love it, and you've got to tune in to CNBC and Heard this week when my guests will be none other than the writer, the producer, the director, and the editor of Splinters, Mr. Tom Fitzgerald, his award-winning self. I can't wait for you to hear it. We talk about all of his movies, including The Hanging Garden and Stage Mother and Cloudburst and uh, so much more, including Insights in 10 and First Things First and all that kind of great stuff. Of course, CNBC and Heard broadcasts on Cove FM at 88.7 here on your FM dial in Nova Scotia and all around the world at covefm.com, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Atlantic and Sundays at 1 p.m. Atlantic. I'm so glad you could join us for this edition of The Wave, and I'm so happy that you could be here with us as we enjoy Rhubarb Restaurant in Indian Harbor, Nova Scotia. For the details on this spectacular spot, go to rhubarbrestaurant.ca. For details on these stories and so much more, head to eastcoastcurator.com. I'm Stephanie Beaumont. And I'm Scarlet the Squirrel. Thanks so much for watching The Wave. Stay safe, be kind, we love you. That's cool.